first met Nat when I was uh, in my early 20s and I worked at that time for um, Stockton Borough Council and I used to work on a what was called a youth training scheme at the time for uh, you know re replacing apprenticeships uh, at that time and um, Nat was a very keen supporter of Stockton Council. He's a, he was a Stocktonian man and very much uh, really looked and wanted to see community projects happening in Stockton. He used to live on the other side of the road in Hartburn to one of my uncles uh, and they were both in the DLI. I ultimately got involved because uh, Nat was a client of the firm in which I was a partner. Uh, I personally did not initially look after his financial affairs, one of my colleagues did that, but when he retired uh, I, I took the job on. Nat was always uh, a very conscientious citizen in the widest sense of the world. He was heavily involved in the uh, social life of Stockton and in the community life in various different ways. The parents came originally from Poland and uh, lived in Hartlepool. His father then uh, set up this business, uh, legal business, Coyne Jackson, Scott and Simon, and uh, moved them from Hartlepool to Stockton where Nat was born and he lived originally in Lawn Terrace on Yarm Road in Stockton and then on to Richmond Road. Between the two wars, uh, Stockton as it is now was a deprived area and quite a lot of the work that he did in, within the civic community would have been influenced by his experiences at that time. So um, if you remember Harold Macmillan was the MP for Stockton <coughs> and frequently commented on this dual problem of deprivation and disadvantage within the youth community. So I think it's quite natural that since he had no direct family to whom money could be passed, he would like to see quite a lot of that distributed in such a way that young people within the Tees Valley community would benefit from it. When he went into the army, uh, and having done his service, he then utilised his legal background to continue to work uh, in the army as a commissioned legal uh, officer and was placed in a number of different countries abroad and spent the, a majority of his um, adult life working abroad in service uh, of the military. For Nat, I think Stockton was his home and everything he did uh, about Stockton uh, and for Stockton was about that community uh, and that sort of included how he supported the local charities uh, within uh, Cleveland in terms of the Red Cross and the British Legion and St John's Ambulance. He very much wanted to make sure that this was local projects run by national organisations in many cases but to do the work that needed to happen locally. Uh, so he was very committed on a grassroots level of what was important to him and, uh, and very proud to be a Stocktonian and very, very, very proud to have been educated there, been brought up there uh, and really supported uh, that particular county. I think there are three or four fundamental things that Nat would have wanted. He'd want something for young people. He'd want to see that young people were given the opportunity to aspire and go beyond maybe where their original roots are. He'd want to see something done about elderly and particularly those that had served in, in the war or been party to um, uh, any war effort. So he'd want to make sure that elderly were being looked after. And I think uh, in terms of those organisations that continue to do that crisis intervention um, locally uh, rather than maybe globally for Nat. A lot of people say he's very eccentric. Uh, and he was a man who uh, would never spend a penny if uh, Hapney would do. Um, some of the notes that we used to get in the office were, he hadn't even bothered to tear the Christmas card in half. We could still see who had sent him the Christmas card, but on the other side were his instructions as to what we were supposed to be doing. So, uh, you know, we all have a little foibles and that was one of Nat's. He was, uh, shall we say, um, cheap to keep. <clears throat> and always insisted on getting the best possible value out of whatever it was was being done for him. But having said that, at the same time, he was extremely generous in supporting charities. Mm -hmm.